Hi, I'm Salma Benawan, and in this video, we're going to go over the 15 mark question from the specimen B paper. So let's read the requirements or the data structure requirements. The names of patients are stored in the one dimensional array, 1D array, patient, square brackets, of type string. A separate two dimensional array, 2D array, readings, stores the latest data recorded about each patient. The array already contains the readings taken by the nurse for each patient. And here are the readings. We have the temperature, which is measured to one decimal place. And we have the pulse rate, which is a whole number. Temperature readings should be in the range 31.6 to 37.2 inclusive. Pulse readings should be in the range 55, 55 to 100 inclusive. Remember, it's a whole number, so it's just 55 to 100. The hospital number given to the patient is used for the index on both arrays. This is a value between 1 and 1,000 inclusive. So that's what we need for the data structures. We know the sizes of the arrays. The patient array is a one-dimensional array that has 1,000 rows of names. And the readings array is a two-dimensional array. It has 1,000 rows by two columns. Here's some sample data to kind of picture how the arrays look like. For example, hospital number one has A.A .A as the name, and they have a temperature of 32 and a pulse of 56. Hospital number two, that's the hospital number ID, has a patient name of B.B .B with 40 degree temperature and 60 degree pulse. So they have a high temperature. It's higher. So let's see what the question is going to ask us to do with those temperatures and pulses. So here's what the question wants us to do. When the data for a patient is checked, a warning is given if any of the readings are out of range. If both readings are out of range, then a severe warning is given. Write a procedure using pseudocode or program code that meets the following requirements. Takes the hospital number as a parameter. Checks if the hospital number is valid. Outputs an error message and exits the procedure if the number is not valid. If the hospital number is valid, output the patient's name, output normal readings if both the readings, so the temperature and the pulse, are within range, output warning and the name of the reading, for example, pulse, if the pulse is out of range, output severe warning and the names of the two readings, pulse and temperature, if both readings are out of range, exits the procedure. You must use pseudocode or program code and add comments to explain how your code works. You do not need to initialize the data in the arrays. All right, so at the bottom here, we have some like two examples of function calls. And what would the result be? Like what would the output be of this function call? So if we call the procedure check readings and we send the parameter 3000, so we send the hospital number 3000, the, out should, the output should be error invalid hospital number. If we said call check readings and we sent the parameter 2 so we sent the hospital number 2 it would go and check the readings okay it sees that there's a higher temperature so it would say warning temperature so now we understand what the question wants it's time to plan and write the algorithm all right here's our plan according to the question we need a procedure definition okay and we know that the procedure takes one parameter then we need an if statement to check if that parameter is a valid parameter. If it is a valid parameter, we're going to output the patient's name, and then we're going to output whether their normal their readings are normal or they have one warning or they have a severe warning. If it turned out that the hospital number was not valid, of course we're going to output invalid hospital number and exit the procedure. So here's the first line, which is defining the procedure. We need the keyword procedure. We need we need the name of the procedure. I'm going to call it check readings and we need brackets with the parameter that's being passed so i'm going to call it hnum for hospital number and this parameter is of type integer at the very very bottom the last line is end procedure so all our statements are between procedure and end procedure the first statement that we have is an if statement if hnum, if the hospital number is greater than or equal to 1, and the hospital number is less than or equal to 1,000, that means it's a valid hospital number. 
in that case, we are going to perform step C, which is showing the out outputting the patient's name, and step D. Else, so at the very bottom of this slide, else, it's an invalid hospital number. We're just going to print error, invalid hospital number, and if to that if else statement and end procedure. So step C, we've called the procedure, check readings, and we've sent a valid hospital number. Step C says, output the patient name. So we're gonna print something from the array patient. Which index are we going to send to the array patient so we can print that particular name? So the index is hnum, it's hospital number. So basically, we are going to say print patient square brackets hnum. That means go to the patient array and go to the index hnum. So maybe like it's the first index or the second index or the third index and display the name that's stored at that index. Now that we've displayed the name, we need to check what kind of warning we're going to show. There are four cases. The first case was given if it's a normal reading. If it's a normal reading, that means that the readings HNUM1, the temperature, is between 31.6 and between 37.2. And if it's normal, also the readings HNUM2, which is the pulse for that particular patient, is between 55 and 100 inclusive. So if both parts are correct, the temperature is in range and the pulse is in range, we're going to print normal readings. The second case is the temperature is not in range. So readings HNUM1 is less than 31.6 or readings HNUM1 is greater than 37.2. It's either too low or too high. And the pulse is in range. Readings HNUM2 is greater than or equal to 55, and readings HNUM2 is less than or equal to 100. So the pulse is in range, but the temperature is not in range. We're going to print warning temperature. The third case is if the temperature is in range, so if HNUM1 is greater than or equal to 36, and HNUM1 readings is less than or equal to 37, so it's normal, and the pulse is either less than 55 or the pulse is more than 100 so the pulse is out of range then print warning pulse finally the last case is if readings hnum1 is less than 36 so it's too cold temperature or the temperature is too high and the pulse is too low or the pulse is too high so both are out of range the temperature is out of range and the pulse is out of range print severe warning temperature and pulse so that is the full pseudocode that's required on the left and on the right these are examples of what would be the results if we called the function with these hospital numbers one thing you could add to this code is you could use constants. Okay, Cambridge really likes constants in their long questions. So any number that you find in the question definition, so the numbers that we see are 31.6 and 37.2 and 55 and, a and 100, those numbers, you could call it like T low is equal to 31.6. So that's the lower bound of the temperature. T high is equal to 37.2. That's the higher bond. Okay, P low is the lower pulse accepted, which is 55. And P high is the highest pulse acceptable, which is 100. So those are, that is something you could do. Let me know if, there's, if this code was working or what you think about this code. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.